Hi guys, it's Dr. Sabrina Siegel here and welcome to Brain Myth Monday. Today we're going to be talking about a hot topic in the fitness community and that is intermittent fasting. It seems as if there is a lot more interest in this topic and I'm going to touch a little bit on some of the health benefits of intermittent fasting and caloric restriction, but I'm also going to talk about what this possibly could do for your brain. The results might surprise you. When neuroscientists examine the effect of caloric restriction on the brain, it's usually done in animals like rats and monkeys. But when we talk about caloric restriction, what we mean is just a reduction in your overall caloric intake from day to day versus intermittent fasting, which is typically fasting two days out of the week. Neuroscience research has demonstrated that both caloric restriction and intermittent fasting can improve cognition and mood and can reduce anxiety and factors related to aging and Alzheimer's disease. They can also improve synoptic function and lend way to the birth of new brain cells which you've heard me refer to before as neurogenesis. And they can also increase the expression of neurotrophic factors, which are just proteins that aid in the survival and production of brain cells. They can result in enhancement of structural and functional neural circuitry in the hippocampus, which is a brain region that's heavily devoted to memory, and you've heard me talk about this region before. Neuroscientists have examined both the effects of caloric restriction and intermittent fasting down to the molecular level. And what they found is that both of these mechanisms tend to result in a greater resiliency to metabolic and oxidative stress on neurons. So we've all heard the phrase, that which doesn't kill us makes us stronger. It seems as if this fasting restriction is resulting in this type of uh, resiliency against stress in the brain. When we think about caloric restriction and intermittent fasting, what we're basically suggesting is a reduction in, in energy, so energy restriction, so to speak. And then neuroscientists are looking at what are the effects of that on the brain. In terms of overall health, animal studies have suggested that energy restriction results in attenuation and prevention of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and an increased lifespan. Neuroscientists also discovered that intermittent fasting resulted in an increased survival rate in the birth of new neurons in the dentate gyrus of the hippocampus, which is a really important region for cognition. So you're probably thinking, well, that's all great, these wonderful findings in animals, but what about in humans? Well, recent research in humans demonstrates that intermittent fasting is associated with increased health span and lifespan and reduced risk for metabolic syndrome. But what about cognition? In a recent study of 32 Malaysian men who participated in intermittent fasting, neuroscientists observed reduced scores on tests of depression, anger, confusion, and tension. So while there's a lot more research to be done in this area, these are the most current findings on intermittent fasting and the brain. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.